Hi guys, for a week or so I'm using Audio Gridder and I'm so excited about it, so I decided to make a video about it. So the concept of Audio Gridder is basically that you can offload the processing of your VST plugins or instruments into uh, another uh, slave machine. Uh, either it's a PC or a Mac and um, for uh, for more than 10 years now I'm using Vienna Ensemble Pro which uh, works uh, with a similar concept so I was pretty excited when I read about Audio Gridder and I wanted to give it a go so how does it work exactly on my slave computer I'm starting an audio grider server which is already running here that's how it looks like so how does it work on your slave computer you install the audio grider server software this server scans your VST folder and then uh, you see all the plugins you have and on your master computer you install the uh, audio gridder plugin and then you just need to insert the audio gridder plugin here that's how it looks like it connects itself sometimes automatically sometimes not but in this case it is connected to the server and then you can choose the plugin which is installed on your slave PC. For example, let us take, I don't know, the filter of Arturia, the, the Minimoog filter. Here you see the interface of the plugin. And this interface is actually a screen capture. Of an, of an interface of the plugin which is displayed on your slave computer and Audio Grida captures the, the part of the screen where, the, where your plugin is displayed and streams it to your master PC. When I make uh, it bigger here on my master PC you can see the desktop of my slave computer. Now I will take it back like this. Okay, but the nice thing is that uh, I can move all the controls on my master computer and uh, all these controls are transmitted via network onto my slave computer. So that's very nice and um, it's also very convenient and that's the only thing I find pretty annoying about Vienna Ensemble Pro because there you must have uh, another monitor for displaying your uh, slave computer. You must have a solution for your mouse for example I have mouse without borders where I can share my mouse and keyboard via network between two computers, between master and slave. With Audio Gridder, you don't need any of that. Okay, so um, what is my setup? On my master computer, I have uh, Nuendo 11 here, that's... Uh, 11 which works pretty well on my my master computer is Windows 8.1 and on my slave computer I have Windows 10 and um, it works pretty well so in this case I um, I inserted a filter but I also can build a whole um, a fixed chain, for example, I 
take some EQs of from Analog Obs Obsession, which are, by the way, excellent plugins. Look here. Or I can insert an instrument here. Audio gridder instrument. Insert. Then again, I click plus. And here I have all the plugins which are installed on my slave. For instance, I will take, I don't know, one of the Arturia synths. And um, here again, here is the interface of the synth which is calculated or processed on my slave PC. And that's pretty convenient and uh, it works very well. So uh, the installation is pretty straightforward. On the slave computer you install your audio grid server and on your master computer you install audio grid plugin. You don't need any additional software and in my case I didn't need to set up a network because uh, I have two fixed uh, IP addresses for my network because I'm working with uh, Vienna Ensemble Pro. Everything worked for me out of the box. So I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, what you have to be aware of is uh, that Audio Gridder has a buffer size. And now in this project, which is empty, I disabled my buffer size. And um, it works also pretty well. I didn't took it to the max. I didn't have the time to try it out. The problem, however, is when you are increasing the buffer size, for example, I make one block and then I increase the latency of the channel where the audio grid plugin is instantiated. And you can see here it adds six milliseconds, which is not a big problem. The problem is, however, if you start a second instance of Audio Gridder, let's take some other plugins. I don't know. Let's take another Analog Obsession plugin. Here, that's the interface of the plugin. Again, let us take a look at the latency. Now we have a second channel with additional 5.3 milliseconds. So with each instance of Audio Gridder adds uh, an overall latency to your DAW. When you increase the buffer size in one instance of Audio Gridder, it's increased in every instance and even in the instance of audio gridder instrument. See? And that's kind of a problem because uh, what you do want when you're playing, you would want uh, the lowest latency you can get. But here with each plugin or with each instance of audio gridder you add a latency again if you are using buffer size uh, let me decrease it what's also very interesting is that um, when you increase your the buffer size of your audio card for example let's take 1024 
then the latency intervals are increasing as well. So you have to balance uh, the things out. Uh, but um, in case of uh, mixing, it's uh, it's not a big problem. It's not an issue. So um, at the moment, I would rather recommend Audio Gridder plugin or the let's say Audio Gridder system rather for mixing than for uh, for virtual instruments. One more little thing though, because of this. Uh, latency it's not an issue it's how the uh, how the audio gridder system works but i would rather build a signal or plugin chains than insert several audio gridders because as you can see with each instance of audio gridder you increase the overall latency of your mixer and with it the overall latency of your project what Audio Gridder does not support, at least not at the moment, is uh, multi-out plugins. So you can either uh, have a mono or stereo instance of Audio Gridder. Um, but uh, Audio Gridder is pretty um, is pretty new. So it's just uh, went out of the beta, I think, uh, like uh, in last months or so. And um, there are features which are not implemented yet, like uh, preset management. You have the preset uh, drop-down menu, but it's grayed out. But uh, I read on the discussion forum of uh, Audio Gridder that uh, the preset management will come in the version 1.2. Another thing you have to keep in mind, but when Slave and master computers are connected via Wi-Fi to a router, um, Audio Gridder prioritized the Wi-Fi connection over a wired network connection. So when you're uh, connecting your computers, make sure that your Wi-Fi, at least uh, on one of the both uh, computers is deactivate. Otherwise, you will have a uh, huge latency, which is not acceptable. So uh, I think it's pretty exciting plugin. And um, what's really nice about it, it's at the moment at least, it's a, a donationware. And I strongly encourage you to try it out. It's really cool.